Hello again. It's your girl Cindy British here. In my last video, I spoke about the importance of family bonding and the positive effects it can have on a person's well being. We all need family to create happy memories, laugh, share experiences, and such the like. But not all not all family are relevant not all family are relevant and i can talk from experience a wise woman once told me that if you allow people to make more withdrawals than deposits in your life you will always be out of balance and constantly in overdrawn i think what she was trying to say that you can't just keep giving 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 other people and not and get nothing in return that's not how the cycle of life works you understand experience has taught me that you cannot control someone's desires either no matter how you treat them they will not appreciate the things that you did for them um some people come into your lives unless you're excelling and they think life is a better rose you get everything easy they don't realize that you you have to work hard for whatever you achieve in life so my point today is that some energy is very contagious toxic so sometimes you have to eliminate any negativity from your circle in order to prosper you know if you really want to make the most of life you have to keep people at a distance keep them away from your space you know, you're not obliged to make room for people who cause you pain and distress. Some people will never accept responsibility for their actions or make any effort to change their corrupt ways. You understand? And the reason why I'm saying that today is because of my experiences in England here. All right. I always said to my sisters, do not give people my address or my phone number that's back in the day because my mother brought us up not to intermingle too much because we couldn't have visitors coming to our home at will my mother had to approve of you and she had to make sure that you're coming for the right reasons so i was trying to sort of live in that regard but obviously then again, Mother Darius, she will say one thing and do another because when we were growing up, she used to take other people's children and bring to our home and care for them. In fact, the peop those children that mom used to look after get better treatment than us sometimes because on a particular day, she would be boiling porridge and she would be making Caesar rice with pumpkin and corn and all sorts of niceties and nurturing things for those children and i used to wish i was in their shoes when it come to beating time and she was beating us those children didn't get any spanking we got all the spanking why they were onlookers innocent bystanders even when they were involved in whatever wrongs and boo as they said we were doing anyway my story today is really about deception and how corrupt people can be when you try to treat them with kind regards so what it was back in those time my sister gave my phone number to this particular young man he called me out of the blue i asked him where did you get my number and he said he saw my sister and she and she, and, and and she and she told me i was doing well imagine you know my sister told him I was doing well because I had three jobs at the time, working, caring for my children, trying to make a life. I didn't buy my house yet because I was working very hard during that period, doing three, three jobs. You understand? But that's a topic for another time. And at first I was reluctant to accept this young man into, into my household or to, to tell him to come along and give him a place to stay so to speak but my conscience and my christian virtues and principles you know they they, they overshadowed my my thought at the time 
And I said, come along, man. Come, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. Come along, because we are all Jamaicans. Come, man. You understand? I can't let you... You're homeless and you haven't got any place to stay. And he was blaming some housemate for causing problem in his life. Which, when I'm looking back now, there's three sides to every story. Your side, my side, and the right side. Hmm. All hell break loose when me let the boy, the, me tell him, him to come. And he did come. Travel all the way from London, how many miles. When I drive to London, it take me one hour. One and a half hour to drive to London. So you can you can imagine that he was in a hurry to come up here. And he leave London and come all the way to Wolverhampton. You understand me? And the first thing I did, I offered him a place to stay because a dear relative of mine left me in charge of his um, household. And because it was empty, I thought, why is it locked up there and this man is homeless? So I allow him to live. You understand me? I allow him to live free, rent free. And what he did at the time was to what he did at the time was to install two phone lines, not one, two phone lines and run up the phone bill. Run up the phone bill and get me in one piece of olive baloo. You understand me? Me even lend him a hundred pound and because he was in difficulty at one point. And I said to him, I've got my three sons here. You know, it's their money. I need to buy shopping and that. So make sure you give me back the money. And out of a clear, no. And I said to him, give me a passport as, as security. And when you bring back the hundred pound, I'll give you, I'll give you back your passport. <laughs> One week passed, two week passed, three week passed, and no sign of the boy with me hundred pounds. So, me start phone him. Me start to phone him and say me need the money, and him have attitude and argument. And out of a clear blue sky, one one day me door knock, three police officers show up, said we get to understand that you're holding on to. Mr. So-and-so passport and I have to hand it over. Can you believe that? The boy sent police for me to take the passport. And even to today date, the 25th of September 2020, the boy had give me back my 100 pound yet. So somebody drew me attention to a post that he put on Facebook recently. Oh, somebody in England make him get the port. It wasn't me. Because I don't believe in calling immigration and nobody because this country don't belong to Ishi nor the old lady. This is Godland as far as I'm concerned. So if it was me, that boy would be in England up until today. So if him get the port, I uh, him own bad man make him get the port. So me just a show you about toxic friends and toxic family members. You understand me? So this is really what I'm, my story is about today. About the the avoidance of such individuals in your circle. You just have to keep them away. Avoid them at all costs. Alright? So I'll keep on touching on the topic of family and friendships. Because there's a lot to talk about. Holy. So keep watching. Keep subscribing. Have a blessed day. And take care. And tell your friends. Share. Like. And let the good times roll. Alright? Bless.